Hey guys, welcome back to Westbridge. Um, what you are staring at, um, if you're watching, is the newest member of the family. It is the 2720's big brother. It is the 13 shank, <clears throat> 26 foot, 0 inch, 2730. Um, this thing is 18 feet wide, folded up, 48 feet long, as is. Um, unfolded configuration is 26 feet wide, um, which comes to um, essentially 8 meters working with um, in game. It is uh, uh, just under 37,000 pounds. Um, so, this is an extremely heavy tillage tool. It's an extremely large tillage tool to, uh, dimensionally and it is designed to basically um, <laughs> it's just literally destroy any kind of compaction layer or residue um, you can have and then um, for to better prepare for uh, your spring uh, seed bed prep um, so I've been really really itching for a 13 shank um, chisel plow for some time and I thought for sure, Raphael was going to get around to making a uh, Case IH 13 shank E. coli tiger, but that never happened. So, um, pulled the trigger on this one uh, about three weeks or so ago is when I started this. Actually, four weeks, a month ago, actually. Now I think about it, because, no. Yeah, maybe, probably closer to three weeks than four, but um, started it a while ago. Um, really was not looking forward to making this um, ripper because it's 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 so it's very complicated uh, ripper there's so many components and the thing is I didn't I wasn't looking forward to mod not only modeling all the components but separating them and basically doing everything necessary for scripting in game so we're hooked up now to the uh, challenge 875e um, and uh, before we do that we'll do a little walk around i'm gonna shut this off it's kind of loud. Um, before we do that we have um, authentic decals that i found on the um, uh, exploded view diagram so uh, really cool uh, that I got that um, 26 foot 0 inches and you can just start to see the amount of detail I put on put on this tillage tool it's um, I'm really happy with it um, all the individual screws and washers and yeah this is what I also thought was really unique is each of these discs are individually um, like mounted instead of like a big bar so I thought that was rather interesting. Um, and then we'll just hop back over here. So basically this is designed in three systems. It's designed for, you know, turning the, chopping up, sizing up residue with a disc turning soil over, incorporating that residue. Then you got your rippers, um, which, you know, uh, these are uh, 16 inch rippers. Well, that's the uh, recommended maximum depth you go. I do believe is 16 inches or 14 or something like that right around there um, and that's for your uh, compaction layer and then in the back is kind of your finishing um, more discs to uh, size up more residue and crumblers to kind of even out for uh, spring tillage um, and then we do another uh, we got our lights here reflectors we got yellow on the front um, pretty cool little way to do your blinkers and lighting and stuff like that um, what else is new to this mod um, uh, these di little dish shanks are new to this mod I had to build those individually uh, new crumblers and roller basket crumbler basket mounts also new um, uh, different from the ones on my 2720 uh, crumblers different uh, and just the way the hydraulics and the framing is it's quite large and uh, beefy and impressive. And even this lowering, it's because um, the main frame is elevated above all the tillage and stuff like that. So that's really cool. It's 
Um, very similar to like a 20, like the basic framing skeleton is similar to like a 2700, but this thing has so much more steel and it's so much more rugged and um, definitely. Um, and then the wings, they're in kind of individual sections and um, uh, what else? Unique lowering. Anyways, I'll go ahead and unfold this. So, and it unfolds the first set of discs first, then the fluid from the hoses will work its way back to the back um, set of wings. And we can obviously lower. And the first thing you'll notice is the crumbler baskets are moving. You would be correct they are moving um, what else can we do another neat little feature is this disc has the ability to raise and lower the disc depth control so that is a really cool little feature mouse control um, the whole disc assembly moves up and down with the hydraulic mounts and then if you come in here you can see the cylinders working in the uh, beams rotating and the bars moving as well so it's all hooked up looks really great I mean we got we got cotton pins in our hydraulic cylinders that's the kind of detail I put in this thing um, and then this this there's a lot going on in the background I wish I could get a different camera here. I'm gonna have to put a camera on this tillage tool so I can get a better view of what's going on these wing uh, raise and lowers are definitely interesting so what we'll do, we'll fire this baby up. I'll show you guys some um, particle animations and how it pulls. So we'll go ahead and lower our implement. We'll hammer the, the gas. And then you can see I can raise and lower the disc frame. Bring up my uh, particles, or I can lower it back in the ground. And it has the depth node, the depth control node inside the, 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 the uh, disc screen that's moving up and down. So um, it will adjust how deep or shallow it will put into the ground. And then you can see in the back the crumblers support. Making big kitty work now. Six miles an hour. Oh yeah. heavy piece of <laughs> tillage equipment, but it sure does look impressive in the fields. Uh, Julian actually showed me something to fix the decal flicker, so I'm glad he showed me that um, inside GE. It's something really simple to prevent flickering. It's basically like increases your decal thickness. Not the shape, it's just like the geometry of it. Nice to know that I can now prevent flickering. Anyway, I say we're gonna call it a day. Lift up this beast, and then you can see that the uh, kitchen hinge moves to. Just 
pull this baby up when she's done. This thing is pulled it up going down the road.